are here. We are here. Mr. Riccolo again with me. Good evening once again, wrestling fans. This is Purely Obsessed Wrestling World Entertainment, P-O-W-W-E, POW Entertainment, where superheroes come to life inside the ropes. Mr. Riccolo, along with the notorious one. My God, leave that hairspray alone. Why do you think our ozone has a problem? It's your hairspray. But anyway, what's going on this week on Inside the Ropes? First of, first of all, I want to welcome our friends from the Skokie Comcast Cable System. I'm talking about Elk Grove Village, yes. Streamwood, Des Plaines, Morton Grove, Schaumburg, Palatine. Welcome to Inside the Ropes. You are going to watch some of the finest independent pro wrestling in all of Chicagoland. That's right. And because you know why? Because we have what you say the best that is going on today, including myself. <laughs> we got some great, great HLA coming up. Hot ladies action, Nicholas H. Ooh, that's right. You got Taylor Made, the re reigning queen of POW. Big six foot Melanie Cruz and the beautiful Nikki. You better believe it. We're going to go up to the ring. Some little HLA hot ladies action. We'll be back. <laughs> Take 
to the back. The tide has turned now in the favor of Taylor Made. Well, when it's three on one, Riccolo, the tide could easily turn. You know, I don't know too much about this Chaz Moretti. I've never really seen him, but I'm tired of him already. He's an idiot. Corrado watching for the choke. Taylor Mage got that sleeper hold locked in. Taylor Mage. Oh, and Nikki breaks. Oh, but right to the hair. Pulls her back down. Cheap move, pulling the hair, throwing Nikki back down on the mat. And Nikki with a boot to the ribs. Kicks to the ribs on Nikki. Nikki choking. Taylor May choking Nikki on those ropes. There's Chaz Moretti. Look at that little ribs. Look at this. Trouble getting up to her feet. Quick roll up. Look at this. Oh. Taylor made almost caught sleeping there. Nikki kicks out.
see. What do you know? Nikki pulls off the upset and retains, or actually I should say, she gets her title back. Well, really, it was three against one, you know, with that chooch Chaz Moretti always putting his big nose in the Well, things. you know what, you can't take anything away from Chaz Moretti. He must be taking pages out of my book because he's really doing a great job. Is he related to Jade anyway? Never mind, forget no, it. That's no, no, all right. No, I but I'll tell you what, coming up, June 25th, Elk Grove Village, Al Hadendorf Center, it is Summer Explosion. That's right, there's a lot of things going on. Uh, of course, we have two more inductees to the Powell Chicago Hall of Fame. Yes, we do. My good friend, the tenacious one, tenacious Terry Allen, be inducted into the Powell Chicago Hall of Fame. Has been. And then also a wannabe police officer that likes to yell at innocent people, the one and only Joe Moriello. All that coming up. Match is already signed, the tag titles, regional titles, all on the line in one match as Psychotic Rage, Eric Freedom, put the belts on the line against any four members. That's right. Of Picture Perfect, and which four members will it be? That's right. It could be Joey the Pitbull Chi Chi. It could be Justin James, GQ, Logan Scott. The Turbo. Common, that's like, right. How about, how about Jay? Yes. Uh, well, I know you like Jay. I mean, I don't know why you play so hard to get with her. But anyway, Say, I've got track shoes that are better looking at her. Oh my goodness. Now speaking of uh, you know, uh, people coming in to POW and things like that, we have the one and only Forsaken kind of going against old generation against new generation here against Kanoa. Well I tell you what, we're gonna go back to April 15th at the Villa Park VFW where Forsaken gets in a ring with then champion Kanoa. That's right. And so without further ado, let's just see what happens to the coconut boy himself. How's it going, everybody? I'm Chris Cairo. And I'm Kanoa. From two future stars to two future Hall of Famers, Terry Allen, Joe Moriello, congratulations. Two great guys, very deserving of this. Exactly. Forsaken right now, RJ. He was taking a little shoot out of Forsaken. Oh! He slid that drop to the right into the face of Forsaken. And pulls him up a second time. Alright, one time I could understand. You want to send a message, but a second time? Uh, I don't know. I think this might come back to Hawk Canal. You've heard the expressive plane was fire. Disqualification, but this is no holds barred, no disqualification, anything goes. Where's he going now? He's going backstage. Maybe he's going home. <laughs> yeah. Thank <laughs> you. 
he's playing, he's playing with the former world champ. What he's playing with with the Rosa Peggy Dynamite. I have to agree with you, Chaz. Yeah, we all know what Canelo is, but we know what Forsaken is. Wait a minute, Forsaken's calling Rickerow down to the ring. If it was anybody else, I wouldn't have a trouble believing it. I don't, I don't, oh my. All I can say, RJ, is, oh my. Now the question is, is Canola gonna show any kind of compassion for Forsaken? As you see, Forsaken did exactly what he wanted to do and take that title, put it right back around his waist. The only POW four time world heavyweight champion. You're exactly right. What a showcase of champions tonight, Nicholas H. We've got a new queen. Yep. We've got a new world champion, and I'll tell you what, the TV title on the line as Scott Spade, the TV champion, puts his title on the line as we're going to head over to Dubuque as Dubuque. he battles... I thought it was Dubuque. No? As he Dubuque. battles Dynamite, then what a match this was. That's right. So without further ado, off to Dubuque, Iowa. Great move there by Mr. Spade. Spade's got that arm behind it. The dynamite makes it to the bottom rope, so we see a clean break by Scott Spade. Interesting. To say the least. You gotta watch out for this dynamite. Too sneaky in my eyes. Whoa. Get on break. Learning from Dayhawk and the god of hellfire. Xavier. Yep. Oh, Scott Spade rolls through. Well, for Ben, could he get him? Dynamite rolls that shoulder up. Spade maintaining control on the arm. This is the type of wrestling Scott Spade uh, likes. He, he, he likes the old school style wrestling. Whereas Dynamite, you know, he, he's just going to roll with the flow. Scott Spade, one of, the, uh, one of the best technical wrestlers that you'll see anywhere. Indeed. Through the ropes go Spade. Courtesy of Dynamite. Dynamite, one step ahead of him there and was able to whip him right through those ropes. Dynamite's being smart about it. He's going outside the ropes because he knows he can't win that TV title via count out. Big smash to the ring apron, forehead of Scott Spade. Spade is stunned, he hit that ground hard and Dynamite's staying on him. But you know, he might be counted out of the ring. Uh, no, you know he throws Spade back in. Let's get this fight in the ring here. Trading on the upper body. Oh. 
helmet over in the corner. What the? Has the scissors and he's cutting off that top turnbuckle pad. Bailey Perella never saw that. Right now, Dynamite having the upper hand as he's trying to rip the rope off the turnbuckle that RJ, he's got it off. He's got scissors. He cut the turnbuckle pad off and that turnbuckle is exposed. Referee Peter Perella right there looking for the choke. Like you said, probably the, the best technical wrestler. Oh. Wow. Spade just like that turns it around. Crowd getting behind Scott Spade. Scott Spade with a beautiful flying drop kick. And uh, Scott's kicking one. TV title on the line here, Dubuque, Iowa. Oh! Dynamite gets the boot up and Scott Spade runs solid into it. Pee-wee realizes now that the turnbuckle pad is off. Not much he can do about it, though. Oh, and Spade's head. Oh, connects solid with that turnbuckle. Pee-wee Perella calls for the bell. Just like that, this match is over. Well, nice. As you see, Scott Spade, uh, Almost uh, with an upset loss, yeah. but he put he put demands what, on the match. What what is Dynamite thinking? Uh, 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 he he can't win the match by being disqualification, but now he's got Spade really teed off. That's right. Putting stipulations in. He wants that match restarted. He wants this. He wants that. I tell you what, let's, Dynamite, he's got his hands full. And let's go to the conclusion of that match. Let's go check it out. Scott Spade saying he's not taking the win this way. He's calling uh, Dynamite back out here. No DQ. Oh, we have a new match here. This has now become an anything goes match, no disqualification. And Scott Spade might really regret this. Spade from the bat, able to connect three times to Dynamite. Now he's got that chair. Oh, and Dynamite just gets laid out in the center of the ring. Both men, both men down on the floor. Dynamite is out cold. 
Scat, whoa! Ref crossing out. Whoa. Crossing, crossing, Dillard drops the keys in. He is now going for the title. Crossing connects with the chair. He's got spade up. DDT. Pile driver. Pile driver under the chair. And we have a new, a new television champion. Rough crossing. Rough crossing cashes in one of the keys to the kingdom and he becomes the new television champion here in POW. And that is what we, we've been talking about. Rough crossing with those three keys. He can cash in for any title at any time, and he has taken advantage of it. Unbelievable. This was not expected tonight. We are the champions. What did I tell you? Timing, timing, timing. That's all it is. Now, isn't it there, Mr. Hair Extraordinaire? <laughs> well, you know, Rough Crossing, cashing in one of the keys. He's got three left, and Eric Freedom, the tag team champions, the world champion for a second, they better take notice. Rough Crossing, uh, I think right now, I think Crossing's coming back to his own That's right. business. Hardcore hippie, I tell you what, you don't need that title. It's too good for you. The tag titles. Trust me, Nicholas H has got something in the works. And our very good friend, Forsaken. You know what? We're friends, but business is business. And all the titles need to come around my guy's waist. And trust me, Nicholas H always has a trick up his sleeve. Rough Crossing, the key master. We're about out of time, uh, Nicholas H. Until next week, I am Mr. Riccolo for the... Um... Notorious Nicholas H, which is the manager of Rough Crossing, the TV champion. <laughs> hey, we'll you like see it? you next week. <laughs>